Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed, where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that can be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy is going to be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So start one hand. He's going to be looking. He's going to react. Start the right hand. Just a little flinch of the right hand. Throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. He fires off the combination there, and it lands. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Good block. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down for the first time. The question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. A well-placed left hand up top. Good flush shot by Manny Pacquiao. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercuts. Good exchange. He fires back. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of the spot he wants. Now he takes a respite after just scoring the knockdown in that last round. Joe, you feel good, just like a Joe Moore. And yet another big shot comes in. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, it's just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Move, move. Super two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. What power from that left hand of Pacquiao. Good return fire that time. Little volume punching to the body there. Backing his opponent into the corner. Looks to the head. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Little head hunting with the left. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. Come on, get Good looking two punch combination there. Huge left hand from Pacquiao. Blocks the headshot. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. He's targeting downstairs time and time again. 
Ten seconds remaining in this round. Solid left hand to the head. Comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I've, How so? Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember, this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. Off target with that hook. And there's the left hand working well for him again. 90 seconds to go here in this round. What's the hook? Oh, and a two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Targeting that straight left hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Pacquiao's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and punches. The top is solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this kind. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Pacquiao's speed to me, Teddy, is clearly the biggest difference we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, but there's ways to take away speed. One is to go downstairs to the body and start to discourage the guy a little bit. You know, take some of the air out of those sails. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Nicely timed, one, two. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. 90 seconds to go in round number four. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. You gotta love the offense there, putting his punches together. That's just good, solid, accurate work by Manny Pacquiao. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Oh, what a whiff by Manny Pacquiao. The end of round four. Well, we've seen this before. A fighter with a bad cut. And sometimes... A he was in a casino. He's rolling the dice. He's hoping to come up with seven. Pacquiao's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges 
you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. They both decide to bring it. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good biting, snapping shot by Manny Pacquiao. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Pacquiao is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Pacquiao is able to avoid that punch. Harry brings the jab right hand. Solid shot, the left hand came in. And now he's got to be careful because he's been... Pacquiao's done it again. Another head clash here. And that headbutt is going to cost him. The referee is deducting a point saying that was intentional. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Manny Pacquiao's been having... Wow, nice flush left hand. Time. I warned you about your head. That's one point. Great defense turning to offense for Manny Pacquiao right there. Blocked and punched back. The combination punching now scoring well by Manny Pacquiao. Oh, this is a wipeout. You Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down, to have a great resolve, and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Pacquiao swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Good work with the combination, putting his punches together, and it's paying off. Yeah, it is paying off. You know, the first couple didn't get there, but he caught him on the back end. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Manny Pacquiao. Here in these later rounds, you can start to see a trend, and one is developing. He cannot get away from that left hand. Now listen, when you throw your punches, it's not enough just to chuck them out there. You gotta throw them from the right distance. He's thrown them from a little too close, where he's vulnerable, as you said, to that left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Manny Pacquiao. Let's see some more help. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Manny Pacquiao. And round six comes to an end. His eye is completely shut. He really is at risk of being a TKO loser here. I suppose if he can defend himself properly, the fight will go on. Yeah, well, that's gonna be up to the discretion of judge. That's a huge left he just scored with. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned, and he's wobbly. The only thing he... Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao's right hand scores well that time. Teddy, this guy's putting on a clinic right now. I mean, his, his accuracy is remarkable. Yeah, clinic in the healthcare center. He's like a surgeon. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange.
tactical game paying off. You can see the counterpunch. Yeah, you see the counterpunch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Pacquiao's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Manny Pacquiao with a big left hand. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Boom, left hand comes home. Boom, boom. Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, no, Teddy, no, no. Well, I don't know what his That's intention it. is, but this I know what the result is. The referee just stopped the fight. Disqualification with the excessive fouls. You know, Joe, that's a good point. That may have been his intention to get out.